What's good, Life and Poetry fam? Welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host, the one and only, Marcus T, this guy. And we are back with yet another video as we close out 2021. Guys, this has been a, it's been a roller coaster year, but y'all been sticking with your boy. Y'all been rocking with me tough. So, you know, I've, I'm truly appreciative of, of the support you guys are giving me. You know, um, it's like any other day, guys. We're we going to knock out a, a great video, some great content. Hopefully, it's something that you guys can um, can hold on to and get something from, from this uh, subject matter here, especially if you are a, an author, upcoming author, new author, so on and so forth, right? Um, but before we jump into all this, the fanfare here, but we're going to talk about, guys, I need y'all do me a favor, guys. Um, so if you are new here or if, you, or if you have been here before and have not already done so, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And once you've done that, please go ahead and turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we hear our life and poetry drop a new video. And remember that we say we because you never know who's going to pop up and grace us with that presence here on the channel. All right? Now remember, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, it's all love here with your boy at Life and Poetry, guys. All right? Um, yeah, so we, we're going to jump into the thing. Um, I'm quite certain that you should have about the title, um, the, uh, ups, the ups and downs, pros and cons, whatever about self-publishing. Um, I, I want to jump into that with you guys here a little bit um, as, as we go through. So I'm, I'm going to break down some of the stuff that some of the things that, that I've come to come that I've come across while self-publishing my first book, Love in the Eyes of the Author, a collection of spoken word pieces, which is linked in the description down below. As always, guys, it's on Amazon via paperback and Kindle. Please grab yourself a copy. It's a great read. Um, it's not a long book. I believe it's 35 pages. Um Check it out. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Um, but yeah, so self-publishing, right? So first, let's break down what self-publishing is, right? So self-publishing refers to uh, a process when the author completes the entire publishing process, right? They uh, dealt with the printing stuff, the editing, proofreading, formatting, cover design, bookmarking, all these things with their own, using their own resources. Now, we know that today there are a plethora of platforms out there that helps you along the way. That it's not so much that you're actually doing it all on your own anymore. Um, then you have platforms like uh, Amazon uh, who helps you with that self-publishing process. Now it's still self-published, but Amazon gives you that that that, that um, a little bit of upper hand when it comes to certain things because uh, Amazon comes with with certain tools that you can use when designing your book cover. When you're um, pulling out uh, um, marketing stuff like that, Amazon offers a marketing um, uh, a deal on, once you work through the process. There, um, we might jump into this video. We might get to another video. I don't know, but I want to specifically talk about the benefits, ups and downs, pros and cons, the do's and don'ts, whatever you want to do, to publish or not to publish type thing of self-publishing. Right now, there were four uh, the ones that I come across. Right, the four benefits of self-publishing, um, and four. Uh, for downsides of self-publishing, right? So we, we got what self-publishing is, right? That's when an author does pretty much everything on their own. They, they're working with the formatting, the proofreading, the, the cover, the text, the, 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 the marketing, all that stuff, right? You're going to do it all yourself, right? Um, hence the word self, right? Self, self-publishing. You're going to publish it yourself, do it all yourself, right? So let's talk about some of the benefits, right? Right quick of self-publishing. Um, I'm going to say I got four benefits of self-publishing, right? The first benefit we come up with is creative control, right? Um, uh, sheesh, I hate taking notes. I really do. I really hate taking notes. Right? With creative control, you have full control over everything, right? You, it's just, it's you. With self published I'm doing it on my own, designing this my own. I'm going to run this myself. Now, you know, when, you, when you're working with a traditional publisher, you, you work through the process. You, you, you work through the machine, right? You have a machine working with you and working for you. You have the person who's there to to help you with proofreading, the person there who's helping you with designing uh, cover layouts and mapping out all these things, what they call gatekeepers, if you will, um, uh, over your stuff, right? And they have opinions over everything, everything. Um, as self-published author, it allows you to just just control everything, right? Everything. You want a certain design, it's you. You want a certain format, it's you. You don't got nobody telling you what to do other, other than the voice in your head telling you that this is a go or it's a no-go, right? Self-publishing. Creative control. The first benefit, creative control. Benefit number two, higher royalty rates. Um, traditional publishing royalties 
uh, hover between seven twenty five percent, right? Between seven twenty five percent royalties, right? It don't sound like a lot. Traditionally, typically, it, it's not really a lot. Depending on how much your book is actually priced at, I guess that's where you can start looking at numbers like that, right? But when, when you when you're an independent author, a self-published author, you could hit the higher range of a royalty, such as like the the 70, the, the 60, 70, 80 percent, right? Because you still got money going out to people who actually are working to do your, your stuff like that. Because like you, you're not printing yourself, you're going to find a printer, but you, you still got to come out of pocket to pay that printer as well, or or to pay the person who's marketing your, your book. If you are market, if you are using uh, platforms like um, uh, like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Certain social media platforms will go a long way with publishing publishing your book, right? So you got creative control, higher royalty rates, right? Uh, benefit number three, less waiting. Less waiting. I literally published my book on Amazon. It took me maybe five or so hours to, to get everything together I wanted to done. But it took twenty four to it took twenty four to forty hours for it to go live. Once I was finished, everything. I pushed the button, boom, done. It was there. It was seen. It was it was ready for sale. Right, you don't have to wait. Like with, with traditional book publishers, you get you gotta go through that whole process of being approved or unapproved, so on and so forth. And it's so much, so much, right? So much. I think in my notes, put up in my notes. I say in my notes, it can it can take less than six hours, right? I did did it in five hours, right? And I would, and, and Amazon it allowed me to create not only the ebook version of it, but also the paperback version, and it did it simultaneously. I was able to do it simultaneously. Uh, there wasn't a hassle of trying to say, oh, let me add it to this person. I got to get this approved. So I'm, no, right there. Let's wait. I got it done. I sat with my cousin and my best friend and we knocked it out. We knocked it out. Right. So we got creative control, higher royalty rates and less waiting. Right. Benefit number four. Right. Uh, which is benefit number four is an opportunity to make a name for yourself. Right. Um, and what, I, I'm going to say this here. As much as I want to get on like the New York bestseller, the New York bestsellers list, whatever it's called, New York Times bestsellers list, or it's it's not gonna happen like that. It's not. It's, it's gonna take that work to get done, that leg work, especially as a first time writer. It's hard to get your name across to the to the right people and get into the right room, right? It's hard to do it. However, if, if you got other opportunities such as like the underground market, you in. Uh, uh, poetry reading spots or in places like Busboys and Poets, which is, which is a restaurant um, type cafe type thing where they have open mic nights um, where you could you can put your work on this way. Look, this is me, right? I'm making a name for myself. This is me. You you see the face, you got the material. Mash them together. This this is what I come up with. This is my product. This is my brand. This is my name. This is my book. This is what I produced. This is what I, I did. All this thing here, you know. Um, but it, it's again, it's not it's it's not easy, and it's 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 kind of hard. If you, I'll say this, it's hard if you make it hard. If 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 you don't want to put the legwork in, or if you're lazy about it, then it's going it's going to be a hassle about it. But if you're consistent with getting yourself out there and putting yourself in front of people, um, it's. It's, it's a little bit amazing. And, and while you're in that process of getting your name out there, like you're building up your fan base, like you're on social media and you're throwing yourself, bow, this is me, bow, bow. You, you, you just freestyle stuff, bang, 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 right? And you're creating th this contact list of emails or or social media followers and then they all see your stuff. So when it comes out there, bow, right? You, now you've now you got this surge of, of people coming to, to your to your work because you put, you, you've you laid that foundation, you've laid that work in. If that makes sense, you know. So, to, to, so to go back, so we got number one is creative control. Number two, higher royalty rates. Number three is less waiting. Number four, an opportunity to make a name for yourself. I'm actually in the process of number four now. My book has been out for two years. Uh, I, I dropped the ball. I'm not gonna lie. I dropped the ball a lot on on me actually thrusting my work out there the way that it should have been. I'm in the beginning, but I'm making up for it, and I'm, I'm doing my best to get it get it to where it needs to be on the stage now. I don't want to go into year going to year three and four with with it still being lackluster it's still being unknown or only popularized in my family or my close community i wanted to get to those people who would who would say oh this looks interesting here who don't know me from from rain or snow you know those who would just say you know what i just want a good read let me check this out i want my book to get to that space there especially now i'm working on book number two book number two is, book number two is going to have that, that thrusting force that I, that I failed to give book number one. It's it's just it's not an option. It's gonna have that thrusting force to get there, right? So, 
we got we got the the benefits or the ups about self-publishing. Let's go about the downsides, right? Uh, this thing is tight. I'm sorry. It was bothering me. Um, I know. Say it. I did. I don't care. It's rough. I don't care. But it's me. It's me, right? So downsides of self-publishing, right? Now, uh, there are a lot of pros, right? Um, and there are also a lot of cons, right? But it's, it's good to know them both don't just look at it one-sided it's, it's, it's not what to say you got a one track mind while you're self-publishing you have to be aware of the hardships of self-publishing and what comes with it right now so again we got four benefits we got four downsides right four pros four cons right so we're gonna talk about the cons right now right so uh downside or con number one less visibility right Traditional publishers got the platform to get your stuff out there. They can set you in a space that you would never think about sitting in, because they, they got that reach, right? They got that reach. They can get you there. As a self-publisher, you don't really got that, you even really got too much of that, right? Because like, you have a smaller fan base, and most of the times, I, I, I'm gonna speak for myself, in my, in my situation, my closest fan base was my close family, those who, who knew what I was doing and who were there in the trenches as I was getting this done here. Um, and to, to get to that space, you know, you got to be able to afford to get there, you know. Um, let me see. I, I, I put something here. I want to make sure I get it right. No, that's basically what I'll say. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, because you got, so, so the thing about traditional posting, right? Um, most publishing houses, they got, they already, they've already established an input for themselves. You go to these big publishers, they got, they got critically acclaimed awards. They got books on the New York's best, New York Times best seller list. And they got books going here, books going there. And at, at, at as, as, as a, a self-publisher, you got your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your friends, your church family, maybe your next door neighbor. You know, you don't have as much push. You know, uh, a, a, a publisher, uh, when you have a name publisher that has a credit, uh, 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 critically, uh, critical acclaimed uh, awards, right? People are like, oh, so this, this person's putting out bangers. L let's see what this is about here. Uh, so publisher, you, you don't got that much, right? So you're fighting to be seen every step of the way. You're putting, you're putting that leg working. Like I said, in um, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, um, the pros, right? You're making a name for yourself. So you, you're getting yourself, you want to make yourself seen as much as possible. But again, the hard part is because you don't have the backing or the accolades to show just yet. Just yet. Um, I'm not going to say that it's not going to be a time in, in your journey where you don't have six, seven books out and now people know you. I'm not saying that. In the beginning, of, in the beginning stages, the hardest part is being seen in spaces where you need to be. As, as a small publisher, self-publisher, so on and so forth, right? So downside number one is less visibility. Downside number two, higher costs, right? Now, I, I touched on this before. Traditional publishers, they funding you left and right, right? Uh, self-publishers, you're paying for your editing, your, your editors. You're paying for your design, your, your design stuff. You're paying for your printing. All these other things, you're paying for the marketing of your book. Like I said, on, on Amazon, they give you the opportunity to use some templates, template designs, and that's fine. But some people want to go beyond that. They have apps out like Canva, where if, if you pay for a subscription, that you can go and do those designs yourself. If that's the route you want to take, you want to go to a person that does great designs, you pay them, you pay them pocket for that as well. And come turn around, so once you pay for the design, that you got to pay to get a print. Right now, and I got to pay to market it. Amazon gives you a, a, a way to market your stuff on that platform, uh, but, but it's a small fee. But the blessing from them or that I've seen is that they work with your budget. Like you can set your own budget there. So you can you can start at a certain point, you can end at a certain point, right? But it's still coming out of pocket. It's 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 the hard part in anything is not having funding to do it. Traditional publishers, they give you the advanced money. You got a great book out, but you you got you got advanced. All right, this your money, spend it, do what you want, do what you need to do with it. So publisher, your advance is what's in your pocket at the time, which, which the capital capital that you can raise on your own, right? Still coming out of pocket, all rests on you as a self-publisher. You don't have that team back you, but unless you have support, 
or and you have somebody that's funding you or or or, or uh, pouring into you or selling it to you to your 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 writing journey fine cool most of the time that's not what it is you're on your own and even if you do have the funds to do it it's still money out of your pocket it's still coming out of your pocket your bank account's still hitting ding 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 swiping on swiping you know that's it happens it happens part of the process part of the journey it sucks but hey right number three that's another thing. You, no support system. All right. I talked about this before. So digital publishing companies, they have people there to support you every step of the way. Publishers, proofreaders, editing services, all these things there to help you along the way. Self-publishers, you have you, you and you, unless you have a team of people with you, but it's still on you. Right. Those professionals, they get in, they get out. They they, they get boom, bang, bang, pow, pow. Self-publishers, um, and the work falls on the author or the people, again, like, like I said, the people that they hire. Um, but it, it's still a lot. This it, it may be a small support team system with you, but it's not as grand as you'll get from a traditional publisher. Um, it, again, another thing that sucks, but I mean, it's part of course, part of your process, right? So downside number four and final downside, harder to get print distribution. Right, it's um, my notes set. I, I, yeah, I hate taking notes. I hate reading notes. But traditional publishing companies, they tend to make that money from printing the printing of books and selling books on the bookshelves. Right. Uh, uh, as a self publisher, uh, you ain't first come first choice at a bookstore. You know what I'm saying you you aren't known. Um, so that bookstore doesn't know they can make money off of you. They don't know if they're gonna be able to flip that book, sell that book, so on and so forth. Um, but it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like my books are only, I, 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 my books solely are being sold on Amazon for this reason here. Um, I, I tried to get, my, I want to get my book into smaller spaces. I want to get into, um, into busboys and poets. Um, it's a poetry space. I, I'm a, I write poetry, right? It makes sense. Right. But even to get that done, it's a lot of legwork. It's a lot of this, then the thirds, yes, the no's. Um, but to get in there, it's like, because they don't know you. Nobody knows who you are. It's so published that people rarely know who you are. Again, if it ain't your, your team, that's been your foundation team, your friends, family, close people, coworkers, whoever, whoever it may be, nobody knows who you are. You're still fighting to make a name for yourself. You're still building your foundation. You're still building up your, your team or whatever it may be, right? So to, to get those the, those uh, uh, spaces out there outside of Amazon, like the bigger print spaces there, if you ain't really just paying for it out of pocket or something, like you ain't paying that that that, that premium fee for something, then you, you it's it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight. But not to say that it's at the end of the day it's not worth it. It's worth it because you you just successfully you you just successfully completed an entire book by yourself or the, the freelancers you got working with you. I'm um, sorry, my leg cramped up. <laughs> but you just done all this, you've done all this amazing work there. And you print it, you print out that first book and you got it in your hand, it's like, man, like this is me. This is me. when I held my when I when I was able to hold a copy of my book in my hand, um, I remember my my um a few members my, my church bought some copies of the book and they asked me to sign the books. And this I didn't even have a copy of myself. I didn't I didn't buy a copy myself or, or have them send me an author's copy. Amazon had this the choice of sending off an author's copy. Um, after this account, I ordered my, my author's copy of the book, like my copy of the book, um, outside of my manuscript. Um, when I held it in my hand, I was like, "Yo, this this is me," and I I signed like this, this like I'm signing a book. This is my work, you know. It was worth it at the end of the day. Now again, I I didn't have the I being published through Amazon or or, or what's it um, called KP it was KP Direct um, it was Kindle Direct Publishing through Amazon. Um, some of these things. You, you you can circumvent around, but you still see the things like the no support system or 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 the uh, uh, the less visibility um, and all these other things and have to make a name for yourself and all these other, you, you see the, the ups downs changes and turnarounds left and right back and forth um, same way and it's it, it's a lot to do but like I said it's for me it was worth it at the end of the day I I. I, I set out to do something. It took me about five years to do it. I had a little setback. 
Um, you guys have rocked with me for long enough to know what happened to, to me through that process. But it, even in that process, my setback, I was able to sit down and say, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's time to actually finish this here, which was in the making for five, five, six years. Maybe it's time to finish this here and actually move forward to what needs to be done. Um, and I did it. First book, Love in the Eyes of the Author. It, it was a success. Um, and I'm going to keep pushing it. Uh, as they say, it's mine. And I'm going to stick beside it, you know. Even with book number two, as I'm pushing this out, and even as I'm I'm working in my head right now to finding out how to move from book number two and do something different outside of poetry, I'm thinking about doing a, a memoir on my journey through my diagnosis. I don't know. Wherever God leads me, you know, that's, that's how I feel right now when it comes to writing, because Lord knows I did not want to write. But sometimes... You got to do what you got to do, you know, and, and God, God and God will make sure that you end up in, in the lane that you're supposed to be in. And he did just that for me. Right. But like the part of your family. So you, there you have it. Pros and cons, um, upsides and downsides of of um, self-publishing. I pray you got something from this, guys. And if you want any more, any more information on this, guys, please feel free to research it yourself. You don't have to take my word for anything I just said. Um, I just want to give you guys like a, a, a quick toe in the water of. I, I what it's like to self-publish any type of literature. I'm um, on any type of work. You I know, mean, you're self-publishing something, it's it's you. It's you and the Lord above. You know, many nights I sat and prayed about that there. Um, even to this day, I'm still praying about you know, what if this book doesn't do what it's supposed to do, or if or is it doing what it's supposed to do? You know. But you, you have it, you have some um, benefits and downsides of self-publishing, guys. I pray you got something from this here. Again, if you don't, if, if you want to research more, please feel free to research it, figure it out on your own. Forgot your process. If you want to do a traditional publisher or self-publisher, your choice. Nobody can make it for you, but you. Nobody can make that choice for you, but you do what's best for you when it comes to publishing your work, right? All right, Life and Poetry fam. We're going to close out this video here. Uh, one thing about living in the primary or everything, when people walk upstairs, everything's shaped, and we're under them, but never mind. But Life and Poetry fam, we're going to close this out here. Um, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms on on TikTok, Instagram, the, uh, Twitter, and the Life and Poetry Facebook page. Um, it's been a blessing. It's been an honor as always, guys. Um, as always, though, um, thank y'all for rocking me for this long and allowing me to rock with y'all. Um, as we close out, as always, stay safe, be blessed. Until next time, we out. Peace.